it was near the end of my three year, like, I want to die crying every day period. And I think the day that it happened was the day that I just decided I wasn't going to try to make money anymore. <laughs> Cause like, what else can you do? What are you going to like stop making money or am I going to stop trying to make money and just do whatever I want, but also hate myself? I think in that moment, I didn't realize that it was a choice to hate myself, mm-hmm. but it is. So I made the choice incidentally, not intentionally. You know what I mean? You were just like all of a sudden liking yourself without even realizing that's what you were doing. Yeah. I would say it was more like instead of liking myself, it was just choosing not to hate myself. Mm. And then the liking yourself, when did that start? It just, that started when I started applying phase two and following my intuition. And I was like, everyone needs to know about this. I'm drinking seltzer and I'm going to burp in your face. So it's okay. I can burp in my face. <laughs> okay, great. That definitely started when I actually, for the first time in my life, felt like I had something I wanted the whole world to know about. Oh my God. Yeah. This is actually tripping me out because I'm, th- I'm thinking about how, like, I fucking hated you. <laughs> What? No, when before, like mm-hmm. when I was like your hater, when I was like, I was still watching all your content, but I was hating on you. But like, then when I shifted to actually liking you, mm-hmm. that's like a mirror of you liking yourself. Was that about the same time you think? Yes. Mm. Well, cause that was when you started teaching about phase two. And I saw your video that I was like, you can help me. See, that's interesting that you hated me until you realized I could help you. But I also realized I can help you. Yeah. So <laughs> you, yes, we like hate ourselves until we realize we can help ourselves and help other people. It's like, it actually makes perfect sense. Like, why would you go out of your way to like someone who you think is just useless and unhelpable? And yeah, but that's you. You know what I mean? Like, oh, oh my God. God. Because <laughs> that must have been. Which this is actually tr- just such a trip because the more I think about it, I'm like, it's literally like a mirror, mirror, mirror because I, that's when I started liking myself too. Mm. So, mm. so, <laughs> so it was like, it was happening at the same time. Yes. The vibration was changing. We were on the same frequency. <laughs> Fuck. No, but seriously, yes. because I was. I, it wasn't actually that I hated you during that time. I just wouldn't let myself like you. I want to know more about that because you, you've (laughs) joked about, or at least I've taken it as a joke about hating me. Yeah. But tell me what your actual experience was like watching my content during that time. It was just like, this is what I remember. I remember finding your videos and being like, okay, whatever she's talking about, I need to know more. And that was when I did got your statements exercise. Yeah. The first time. Freebie. And then that, ew, I get the feeling, was when I was like, ooh, I'm not ready for this. Like, I wasn't ready to accept that I was creating everything. After you did the statements exercise? Because yes. you realized it. You were like, oh, my God. Yes. Yeah, okay. And because you're like whole presentation of all of it was so just like how you are very matter of fact just mm-hmm. like this is what's up this is what's happening like and this reminds me of the conversation from alliances mm-hmm. how we were talking about how there's something different that happens within you when someone tells you the truth but they don't have a reaction to it mm-hmm. they're just like well because you're enjoying your problems like so so nonchalantly yeah. that's how i remember that whole video being yeah was you just being like this is what's it what it is and just move on mm-hmm. and like that yeah it shifted something inside me but i didn't want to like <sighs> le- i wasn't yeah. letting myself <laughs> like i wasn't letting myself be ready for it right so the feelings that you gave me like were obviously enough that I still kept like looking up your content mm. and kept looking you up and seeing what was up. I love your problems. Cause I couldn't <laughs> get you out of my head. Yeah. Like, and I, and I don't remember how frequent it was, but enough that like it stuck out to me. I hadn't mm. really done that with any other creator at the time. Oh, wow. Yes. Okay. So it was like, and for whatever reason, I still, I felt like, I can't follow her because she'll know that I'm like watching. Like, I'm 
so oh. it's so funny because it's like I just didn't want to give you the satisfaction, but it was just like a. I mean, there's so many stories. Yeah, there's so many stories. I, I was it was a combination of being like jealous that you're actually putting yourself out there because that's what I wanted to do. Mm. And yeah, the fact that I wasn't ready to like fully embrace what you were talking about. Like I didn't even I watched that the statements exercise whenever you put that out and I was like still observing your content and stuff. But it wasn't until like after the mushroom trip that I really was like, okay, fine. Like, oh, fine. Fine. Yep. Okay. I'll listen. Yep. I'll be her friend now. I'll reach out and not be a bitch. <laughs> not that you were ever a bitch openly, but it was scary to me. Like, mm. I remember being like so nervous to like join the community because I was just like, oh my God, like I've never put myself out there to strangers like this before. Like, it oh was God. so scary to me. That just tripped me out that you just said that because I wonder, we were talking this morning about how we, we've we always known since we were very little that we are like better, there's something about us, we're different, different. Right. everything's good, better, really superior, good at whatever. stuff, yes. whatever, yeah. Whatever word you want to put on the feeling. And I wonder how many people there are who feel the exact same way and are also afraid to put themselves out there and join our community. Yes. We could speak to them. Literally because and I, I did a whole live stream about this yeah. one time about how having a God complex. Yes. Cause and people resonated. I had so many people message me being like, Oh my God, this has been me my whole life too. Mm -hmm. Duh. Of course. And I'm like, yeah, ever since I was little, I would be like, why is this stuff hard for people? <laughs> Everything is so easy for me. Yeah. Like, Getting good grades is easy. Mm -hmm. Being creative is easy. Reading is easy. Everything. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just really good. I'm a gifted of child. Of course I got the lead role. Yeah. Of course I did. Mm -hmm. Like that type of vibe was me as a kid. And mm -hmm. somewhere along the lines, you know, it turned into some fucking bullshit. <laughs> but it was still there. <laughs> it was just, it was just masked underneath bullshit. The bullshit being like, oh, I should be further along in my life than I am. I should be doing better than I am. That was mine. That was 100% mine. I don't know what yours was, but. That's a good question. So what did your, what did it transform into? So you're starting out being like, I'm just so good at everything. I'm, everything's yeah. easy. Then what happened? Oh, interesting. That is really interesting because now. <laughs> <laughs> Mine was the farther along thing. Oh, I should be further along. And mm -hmm. because I met somebody who I thought was better at everything than me. Oh! And I married her! So you were like, <laughs> ah, fuck! <laughs> I've met my match. Yes. Yes. But now I feel inferior every day. <laughs> but that's fucking hilarious because that's totally contrast. Mm -hmm. It's like my whole life being the gifted one who's good at everything that everybody loves and that's so wild. easy to be friends and everybody wants to be my friend and hang out with me blah 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 mm. and so then i marry somebody who is i perceive as better than me more farther along in life than mm. me more talented yeah. more outgoing better at making friends all this shit yeah <laughs> so i can create the experience of being like fuck i'm just in the background yeah that brings up so many things <laughs> you've told me about your marriage experience and it's like wow that's so it's perfect contrast yeah wow that's so funny it gave me so many feelings mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> yeah oh my god so many things to be a victim to mm. victim to so many things to start doubting and questioning and like yep. wondering is this really true am i really who i thought i was Oh, <laughs> that's such a trip too, because now I'm like thinking about how you, when, when you put someone like that in your life who challenges you, yeah, it's like, that is literally the, the moment to either be like, I'm going to fold and be little and yeah. make myself small. Because when you're around somebody who owns their fucking space, mm. they're just going to do their shit yeah. and they don't give a fuck. So they're not going to bend to you or worry about what's going on with you mm -hmm. and i really appreciated that about her of course it was yeah. super attractive to me i was like she's a boss she's a baddie she's a and she's bitch. my wife yep <laughs> yep <laughs> but 
that was like for me that whole four years of being married could have been me like okay step up and be a boss too then. Mm. but i chose the opposite to be like oh i'll just be depressed in the background oh shit mm. dog <laughs> that's so crazy <laughs> and then when you when you do the other side of it when you flip your perspective and you realize that the way they are is why their life is working out for them the yep. way it is that's when you're like oh Damn. shit it was me all along <laughs> all along <laughs> yep yeah which is what we originally started this this stream yes. to talk about this video the the utter life-changing importance of openly liking yourself and knowing that you're the shit yes <laughs> oh and not feeling like all of all of the things that we think like okay if i if i openly am myself and just own my shit then i'm gonna might outshine someone else or like oh it's like no please you're do not that. yeah do you see them shining <laughs> they're fine you see them? <laughs> but even if they're not like this just bring that out. there are people in my head right now i'm sure you no <laughs> you just strengthen each other by doing it. yes that's the thing you have to be the one to step up and do it so they can do it too yes and if you don't because you're worried that they're gonna feel sad or whatever you're not helping yourself no and you're not helping them nope or anyone else and then you both just end up fucking being some bullshit and sad motherfuckers I wonder how often that happens in people's marriages and just <laughs> I know, like, you're an yeah. example, but how many people actually stay together their whole life and both of them are afraid to actually openly like themselves? Yeah. And it's just, like, this Band-Aid. Mm. And you're both trying to make the other person happy mm. and trying to... Oh, my God. I can't even, like... Trying to fix or change my yeah. ex was my middle name. Literally. Wow. Like, yeah. You need to not be like this. Like, that was my stance mm. for basically the whole time. Wow, I wonder what her experience was yeah, with that. Right? It would be so cool to interview her. <laughs> that would be so fucking awesome. That would be really interesting. Yeah. Do you think she would do it? Would you do it? I would do it. I don't think she would do it. No. Really? But that's that's a good question. I have, like, the people that I would love to talk to from my past and hear their perspective are, like, ghosts. Like, I deleted them. Okay. So I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I think that chapter is just closed. Goodbye. But I did make a piece of content like a couple months ago or a couple months back talking about how I was like, if anybody I know or I've met would become a billionaire, it's like literally her. Hmm. <laughs> I, all the qualities. Interesting. Yeah. When you say all the qualities, what qualities are those to you? Effortless networker. Literally everywhere she went. Hmm. Like... I've t I think I've told you the story before, but she would literally be like, meet the cashier at the yogurt stand and just be like, you're coming over on Friday for a barbecue, right? Yeah, you told me that. Yeah. That's crazy. That's amazing. I and love that, it. And like, that's, the that's, one, that's the one example that sticks out in my head, but she did that with everyone. Mm -hmm. And would just, yeah, people were always at my house, but these were the things that I would complain about. Everyone's just, always here. Why is there so many people here? This is so fucking annoying. <laughs> Don't you have enough friends already? Right. But she also was the one who, like, on the album release night of her show, when she had just moved to Minneapolis, packed out the entire place, sold it out mm -hmm. because of just meeting people. Yeah. Nobody knew who her fucking band was from, like, social media or whatever at the time. Mm -hmm. She just went out and met people. She used Tinder. She told me, she's like, I would go on Tinder and I would just meet up with people. They'd think we were going on a date and I'd just be like, what's up? You want to hear my music? That's she so funny. funny. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it's, so, it's so funny, too, because it's like... <laughs> we would go to music festivals and she would just meet people in the crowd you know how it is at a mm. music festival you just meet people and she, we'd be literally at a set like watching someone play and she'd be like yeah do you want to hear my song and she'd put headphones in people's ears and be showing them her music oh my god at a concert <laughs> she's like mm, I know you're listening to this band but you're gonna listen to me yes audacious like no fucks yes. given I love myself yes. myself and my band I my shelf. love that I can <laughs> learn from her now. Yes. Because that at the time was not happening. Yeah, yeah. I was like, you're probably bothering them. 
Like, <laughs> it's so crazy. You know what this just made me think of? <laughs> oh my God, we stopped doing this. But I, I just think we used to be like so, so about our shit that we would like explain shit to people who didn't even ask. You know, well, you know what yeah, I'm talking about? Like, we would go out of our way to, like, say stuff to people. And... You're right. We would. But then yeah. we stopped doing that. We'd just be like, yeah, it's all you. We'd be saying shit. They have yes. no idea what we're talking about. They don't about. get it. They're like, uh, what? But we're like, yeah, 100%. Yeah. Own that shit. And then we stopped for so a while. we're done stopping. Now. Okay. <laughs> we stopped being like, now you're going to listen to my band. <laughs> yeah, literally here. <laughs> Here, let me put the quantum networking audio into your ear. Oh, great. What is this? Let's just listen. Just shut up and listen. It's a book. I wrote it. <laughs> but like the amount of times that people would just be like, oh, this is super dope. Yeah, let me mm -hmm. follow you on SoundCloud. Then all of a sudden they're at the show. Right. Yeah, of or course. Or at my house. Of course. Or their house. Yeah. <laughs> they're just in your life now. You're surrounding yourself with fans and like people who appreciate you. And it obviously makes sense as to how you could never worry about money if you're surrounded by people who appreciate you. But yeah. that's a whole different, well, it's not different. Money is a different topic when it comes to self-appreciation, but. Well, but that is literally how you would do it if you yeah. wanted to make money doing music. Mm -hmm. Like for example, yeah. which she did. Yeah, You want to get well known for music in your space? You want to become somebody who can pack out an entire place? Like, how is that going to happen? Go talk to Go people. Go show people your fucking music. Yeah. <laughs> she took it very literally. Yeah. It makes perfect sense. And like when she would sit there and literally like listen to it with them and just be like, I'm like, you're you so love your shit. Yes. You're so full of yourself. Yes. Oh my God. I'd be like, I'd be so embarrassed to sit there and listen to someone hear me sing. <laughs> <laughs> that makes and it's me. Like, oh my God. Well. That makes about well, two things. I forgot to turn the timer on, so I have no idea where we're at in terms it's of fine. time. But that also makes me think of, you know how I know I've done this, I know you've done this, and I know we both watch other people do it. When it's like, oh my god, turn it off. I can't, I can't stand hearing my own voice. Oh uh, yeah. Oh my god, like stop. I don't look good. It's like you could just choose not to say what? that. What? <laughs> you could literally just shut the fuck up and not say that. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. What if you were just like in that moment you switched it around and you were like, yeah, that's me. Like, I sound, I sound good. Mm -hmm. I look good. Mm -hmm. What if just one time, life changing? <sighs> yes. This is where I would want to look at the camera and be like, if you're listening, <laughs> do it. But yes, yes, like that is the one moment is life changing. Mm, the one moment. Because mm -hmm. that makes me think of times where like, this is, I'm going to use you as an example. Right. Because there, there's been times where like, I've done something different with like my appearance mm -hmm. and you've commented on it. And it's like, you're not saying anything about it. You're not saying like, it's bad or it's good. You're just like, oh, you did this. And the like story of wanting to explain it has come up. <laughs> And then just instead, I'm just like, mm -hmm. yep. And every time that happens, like, oh, yeah, I could have been like, <laughs> yep. It doesn't matter yeah. how you go yeah. about, like, your owning it moment. Mm -hmm. But every time that happens, it's like you get a little more. Yeah, I did it. Of just, like, your energy back. Of mm. just being like, I don't need to explain myself. I don't need to speculate what your fucking judgment is of it i don't need to give a shit what it is because this is just me and this is what i want to fucking look like mm. this is what i decided to do i also love that you just said i don't want to speculate what your fucking judgment is because you don't fucking know <laughs> you're speculating yes. yes you're making some shit up you're judging yourself mm -hmm. like you always are yep but like that's the, the same with the person who's like oh i don't want to hear my own voice shut the fuck up just own it. You could just be like, yeah, that's me. Mm -hmm. I used to feel the same way when you would play like your own content out loud. I'd be like, oh my God, I can't believe she's like playing that. Like, it'd be so embarrassed. Oh my God. And then yes. I was like, got to a point where I just didn't give a shit. I love watching my own content. <laughs> like I fully love watching myself do my shit. Yeah. yeah. And, <laughs> and yeah, you don't have to do that. And it, yeah, but I remember making my first YouTube video ever, ever, ever. 
and it was like so painful so cringe it was <laughs> like oh my god mm -hmm. i hate the way i sound i hate the way i look but i still posted it yep and if i hadn't That's done that get... fuck over it yes yes <laughs> yeah going out and networking mm -hmm. this is, makes me think of this too when you would or when i would ask people like or they would ask me for my social media mm -hmm. i used to be like oh, i don't want you to look at my back no. page right now and then i'm like then i don't want anybody to see it <laughs> yes like yes it's not them whether it's your music, your fucking art, your anything, mm -hmm. any of your, your creations. Your products, your services. Like, if you would meet someone and immediately be like, ooh, I don't know if I want to show you this. That's why no one is watching or giving a fuck <laughs> or buying your shit. <laughs> because you don't even want them to see it. Right. It's such an easy test. Yes. Like a little, like, test project perfect one-to-one -one ratio if you fucking play music go out and talk to a stranger and be like listen to my song oh my god yes if you have social media go out to a stranger and be like look at my profile look at watch my videos yes watch this without looking at the camera i would like to tell the viewer that you've just been given a direct instruction <laughs> to go do this sam has been given a direct instruction <laughs> to not look at the camera not looking at the camera you know what to do you were just told to go do it okay yeah. I mean, we love putting instructions in our videos. Yes. Because, like, go fucking do it. Mm -hmm. Go fucking be a boss. Go show your shit to the world. Mm -hmm. And don't apologize for it. Don't justify it. Don't be like, oh, I, I just didn't have a, a good camera. The lighting is bad. It's, I don't have a microphone. Just fucking own the shit. This is the video. <laughs> when you're looking to pack out a fucking... The Damn. poorhouse in Minneapolis for your album release show. You're not worried about. Am I telling people too much about this? Am I promoting it too much? Are, Are people annoyed? getting annoyed by me? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! And my friends feel like I only want them to come to my show, and I don't actually care about them. Oh my god! Oh my fucking god! That's exhausting. Holy fucking shit! Mm. Oh my god! Like being about your shit is everything. Yes. Being about your shit and about yourself. This shit is better than sliced bread and you need it in your life motherfucker yes yes <laughs> you didn't ask me for it but i'm gonna give it to you anyway because that's just what i do mm -hmm. <laughs> what <laughs> it's like <clears throat> The things that people will will worry about as being an issue, mm -hmm. like talking about themselves too much, going out of their way to like blast their shit, yeah. being full of themselves, whatever, are actually all the things that make you attractive and make people want to fucking listen to you. Amen. Because you're attractive to yourself. Amen. Hundred percent. Like when I heard people say that, like, like for example, there's somebody that there's a content creator who I fucking love who will literally be like, oh my God, all I do is talk about myself. I love talking about myself. I love being the center of attention. And I'm like, I love you. Yes. Of course I love you because yes. you love you. <laughs> but, but they'll, they'll. it's funny because they will literally say it and mm -hmm. be like, yeah, like that's just who I am. I just love talking about me. They're not going, I'm sorry that this is how I sorry, am. Sorry guys, I know I talked about myself for an hour. <laughs> know, it's like so annoying that I like, I'm just like always I'm immediately about turning it off. Goodbye, pause. No. <laughs> It's like, just like, <laughs> I just love talking about myself. Yes. Okay. Then I actually want to listen to you talk. Mm -hmm. You know what? Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> just total, like total <laughs> side note. Before we did this, you were talking I about the, the side notes. yes, the life insurance meeting thing. Yes. If they, <laughs> if they hosted a meeting where it was just like, we fucking love life insurance and we're going to just talk about it for like 45 totally minutes. Totally different. Yes. <laughs> We're just going to have a circle. Everyone's going to just say their shit about life insurance. And yeah, I would, I would go. That I would, would be go. a completely different vibe. Mm -hmm. Then, sorry, we're just going to talk for about 30 minutes and then we can get to the networking. I know you want to get to the networking. Yeah. Oof. Maybe you should tell her that. Yeah. Nice. Immediately. There you go. There, ooh, that was, ooh. that was, you should, wait, also, why does your hand do that? Do what? Oh, there you oh, go. Oh, it's a dab. Before you were before yeah. you were doing it like this. Cause I was going for your thumb. Oh. 
Oh, like that. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, like Ooh, that. Ooh, that still sucks. A... Wait, okay, do the full thing. Oh! <laughs> yes! <laughs> She's like... <laughs> we should also tell that to Erin. Yes. They need to own that they have a fucking... <laughs> yes uh, and that is fucking awesome yeah dude this is literally <laughs> will solve anyone's problem <laughs> i don't care what your problem is i don't care what you think is wrong if you just own your fucking shit and love it and yeah. rub it in everyone's face like you need to see this yes, yes. get sick of me get sick of me i don't give a fuck mm -hmm. get sick of me Please, I will never get sick of you. They're like, I will, I will never get sick of me, so you can never get sick of me. Exactly. <laughs> this is the secret. The secret is not your fucking your thoughts, vibrations. This is the real no. secret. Yes, <laughs> and it's a choice. Yes. Oh my god, that reminds me of the thing like you you told me one time. I think it was you that told me this about how like Marilyn Monroe, right? Yes, it was me. Would say would just like turn on being Marilyn Monroe yeah. if she wanted to in public and then people would know who they she would was and they her. would give her attention but then when she would turn it off she could like go okay, she could blend in whatever exactly 100% that is the perfect example of how you can just choose mm -hmm. in any moment are you going to own that you're the fucking main character of your goddamn life or are you going to be a side character in every moment <sighs> and if you have main characters in your life people that you look at and you're like they're the main character what are you doing what are you learning from them yes mm. what are you doing mm -hmm. why are they the main character of your life yeah <laughs> <laughs> they're there though so you can see it they're your, yes they're your it's not a problem point. yeah exactly that was me with andre like and, it, and yeah, this feels like the perfect place to kind of conclude the video but yeah you had Winter, I had Andre, and we both noticed these things, and they were there to help us see that we could be the same. And they can either facilitate the experience of you being the side character, or you can, can just live that. You can blame the them for your downfall. And be, yeah, well, you know. Fuck you. You ruined my life. <laughs> <laughs> no, bitch, you ruined your own life because you decided not to like yourself. Can I look at the camera now yeah. and do an outro? Can you not ask for permission? <laughs> as soon as I asked, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> All right, bitch. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel. <laughs> I love being me. Broke the fourth wall. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I am love breaking the fourth I wall. I really do. I really do. Because it feels like I'm, you know, doing my thing. Thanks Just for watching. Just get really close. Just get. Can like, I do my outro? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for watching i know you loved it subscribe to our channel to keep up with more phase two shenanigans and hit like and leave a comment and just do all of it because you're obsessed thank you love you bye <laughs> oh boy oh fuck ah. okay i'm just gonna say it now go ahead that's how